Squatch Hollow is our first cabin here in Kentucky. This is the one I'm the most proud of. We bought this property uh, in July of 2020, right the, as COVID was starting to come into play. This where I'm at right now was, uh, we couldn't even walk in here uh, when we bought it. So uh, we bought the property. The realtor that I purchased it from also does land clearing. So he blazed us kind of a trail up through here at the time it was just mud, made this clearing. Um, and in September, came with some friends we put in the concrete piers that the cabin sits on now and we began to frame uh, the deck i'll say the, the base of the cabin floor because we started in the fall we got into winter if you'll remember there were a lot of supply chain shortages lumber prices soared this cabin sat for a bit uh, between stages i had rented a telehandler and my brother and mike and i framed uh, the cabin that you see here now. Uh, we made it through the winter, putting a roof on the cabin, framing it, sleeping in the snow. I remember one day uh, I had my little overland camper and a little off-road camper. I woke up and the doors were frozen shut. So it was a little tough in the beginning, but once we got a roof on it and uh, you know we were shoveling snow off the deck and everything, and windows in it to where it was closed up, we could work inside. We rolled into the next summer. Uh, things definitely got a lot easier. We were sleeping in here on cots, you know, around with all of our tools and whatnot. We got a lot done on those trips because we had very little to do but work. So once we had all the framing done, uh, we worked on the interior finishes. We did the electric ourselves. Um, we roughed in some of the plumbing in the kitchen and the main room. We really, we did everything ourselves here. After we got uh, kind of the interior done, we had the mini splits put into the room for the uh, heat and air conditioning. I came back with my brother and my father because at that time the entire cabin was done except for the two bathrooms. And the kitchen lines went from the sink and just ran into the bathrooms and were disconnected. Uh, so my dad and my brother helped me get all the plumbing in for what is a bath and a half. So we have a bathroom with a washer and dryer and just one toilet and a sink in it. Uh, and the other one has a toilet, a sink, and a shower. That's a full bath in there. Uh, in the half bath is a little closet and that is all the filtration systems for the rainwater. Uh, this cabin is on, it's completely on rainwater uh, for its water supply. There's a tank over here to my left as well in front of the auxiliary cabin that holds 1,500 gallons of rainwater and fills from the downspouts. So once the plumbing was done, we went ahead and drywalled the bathrooms, tiled the shower, all the finish work in there, uh, and we furnished the cabin. So I had a lot of the furniture already uh, that I brought with me. Um, I had to make a lot of it. Tully helped me he make the kitchen table out of some slabs that uh, he had at his house the end tables, headboards, uh, the sofa table behind there, um, all of the cabinets I made, the countertops. Uh, we pretty much made everything in this cabin. The bookcase that we keep games on, we made all of it. Uh, and that was, that was a lot of work, but the price was right. I have very little money into it, but a million hours. And we all know your own time's not worth anything. So uh, we're real proud of how it turns out. Um, Let's take a little tour, or better yet, uh, I'll send you guys inside for a tour and I'll sit out here and talk you through. So as you walk into the cabin, the first thing you see is this really massive uh, table. It's made out of silver maple slabs. Uh, I had the chairs from another uh, house that I owned that came with them. Um, and we made these benches to go with it as well. And we have this uh, bookshelf over here that we keep all the games and books go figure from your bookshelf um, we put some cool signs some license plates things like that around the room uh, right behind the table is the half bath so this has a sink a vanity it has a toilet has some cabinetry to keep things in um, washer and dryer stackable and it has a closet for all the water system uh, equipment behind the half bath is our full bath it has a shower in it all of the other things that bathrooms have. So as you come back out, uh, you go into the kitchen. 
These are the cabinets that I made. Uh, we've got some of these really cool, massive maple slabs. It's the same one that the kitchen table was made out of. We decided to make countertops out of it. Undermounted sink, all of the appliances. Uh, this cabin has a dishwasher. I went back and forth on that. I thought maybe a dishwasher would be more uh, efficient use of water is why we did that. We really didn't need too many more cabinets. You know, we have this uh, pantry here that houses a lot of the things you need, but you know, for a short term rental, short stays, you really don't need all the creature comforts in your kitchen. Um, although this does have most of them. Out this door in the back of the kitchen uh, goes onto the screen porch, table and chairs out here. The roof above this is what fills the backup tank. You can see that sitting next door uh, to the screen porch. Uh, we come back in and here is the sofa table that I built. We have the living room. So we have a full size leather couch. We also have a, I guess this is a love seat. Um, we have an ottoman, we have this coffee table that I made, I don't know, 20 years ago. It's got checkers on top of it. Uh, and there are some little long cookie checkers inside the drawer of the coffee table. Uh, made this little end table, both of these end tables that go with it. Uh, there's a cool ceiling fan. This is the Shushiban wall down this side and everything in this cabin has a, a Sasquatch theme that's why we called it Squatch Hollow so there are multiple you know stuffed animals little different things uh, around the cabin uh, kind of showcase the Sasquatch theme to it Just something uh, fun to do these cabins are in Irvine Kentucky uh, spelled Irvine but you pronounce it Irvine uh, Irvine is famous for its mushroom fest. So this property is really thick with mushrooms when the season's right. Uh, we have some books and things on identifying mushrooms. Uh, this area is also really well known for its agate rocks. Uh, so the creek behind the cabin is great for people who are into rock collecting. I know nothing about that, but that's what I've been told. So we have that option for people who are into it. Uh, on your way back out the door, you'll see the ship's ladder that goes up to our loft. We keep two mattresses up there, great place to throw the kids. Uh, the loft is carpeted because the bedroom uh, underneath it's only got seven foot ceilings in there. We want to make sure if somebody's jumping around up here, uh, that we have carpet padding and the ceiling itself is actually insulated. So that's a great help too. Anyways, moving into the bedrooms, like I say, this is uh, one of two bedrooms in the main cabin. This one has a king bed. It has the lower ceiling, two nightstands, a dresser with a television. Um, I made this light, uh, I have a whole video on that. It's made out of an old uh, gold mining pan and some fixtures I had, just kind of a fun thing. Um, when you go into the other bedroom on the other side, uh, this also has a king bed in it. We opted to put kings in both. Everything else has twins. That bedroom, this second bedroom, uh, which I call the main bedroom, the master. It's got a cathedral ceiling. There's no loft above it. it has a dresser in it and luggage stands. This is the basic things you need, you know. So coming out of the cabin, we come across the deck into the auxiliary cabin. This is another uh, 12 by 12 bedroom. All of these bedrooms are 12 by 12. This one has its own twin bed. Uh, again, something I made when my son was very little. He's now 24. Um, we also put a little nightstand in there and I thought you know if somebody wanted a private place to read if you uh, had a baby that you needed to rock and put down for a nap this would be a good little private area something quiet away from the rest of the camp. So moving outside you know we have this big deck with a barbecue grill on it this cabin sits kind of a quarter of the way into 83 acres of timber. Uh, it's got a lot of trails, a lot of things to explore. We had it logged when we first uh, bought the property. It is uh, coming back. You can tell through our drone shots. I try to take some every time I'm here. Uh, when they first logged it and then we had winter because they got out of here late fall. Boy, it looked like a bomb went off, you know, and even one of the neighbors, uh, he's from Ohio, but owned some property, came over one time with his four-wheeler, and he said, man, they really hit you hard. Now, I've seen some other properties, they, they really didn't as far as logging goes. We had a deal, they wouldn't take anything uh, 
under 16 inches and they would stay away from the cabins. And they did a pretty good job with that. Um, but you can tell now, I just put the drone up this morning, um, the areas that were logged, like the, the, you can't tell, you can't see stuff laying on the ground, you can't see big voids in there, it's pretty full. It just looks more coarse, if you will. But something I noticed is the foliage on the trees is a lot greener uh, than the neighboring properties that haven't been logged. And I think it's just because uh, the trees are younger, they're not competing for sun, and they're not competing for water. Uh, so that's kind of cool. They told me it would take two seasons for it all to come back. We are into the second season now, but already it's starting to look great. I think uh, you know, by next year this, this place will be right back where it was, and even better. They, they say the wildlife really likes it. So We have fire pits at both cabins, and I'm hoping to get back here sooner than later. Uh, maybe with some friends and split up some firewood so we can provide that for the guests. This cabin has, uh, as you probably saw, a wood burning uh, stove inside. And being that it's off the ground, uh, it gets cold in the winter. And, and again, I don't know if these will be renting January and February. If they're not renting, I'll probably be here. So, hey guys, uh, that's Squatch Hollow. Thanks for taking a tour with us. If you'd like to stay here, I'll put the link in the description for this cabin on Airbnb as well as the Sunset Ridge and our escape room uh, house in Illinois. Uh, love to have some of you come stay. Love to see the reviews. Uh, leave in the comments if that's something you're interested in uh, or if by the time uh, people are watching this video, maybe some of you have already stayed here. Leave that in the comments as well. We'd love to hear from you. See you on the next one.